Good morning, good morning everyone, how are you? Um, it's super early morning, well for me anyway. <laughs> and I was thinking we haven't done some uh, no cost or recycled uh, art journaling projects. So I was thinking let's gather some bits and pieces, not too much. Today it's not about elaborate project, no, no, no. Today it's more like let's have a little bit of fun. Let's enjoy a little bit and let's just try to make something out of nothing. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. I have some old book pages and I do also have a glue. So that's where I'm gonna start uh, my journey. So this is just a regular school glue. I'm sure that most of you have it at home. So feel free to use that. I'm gonna try to use as, le as less uh, craft materials as possible. Will it be possible? We shall see. <laughs> and now I'm working in my uh, handmade journal book. This is the vintage journal book that we worked together and there is a video on it how I made it and how I dyed the paper uh, vintagey old book pages, old looking pages. So you can have a look at that guys for definite. And I, I'm just building a little bit of a structure here for my page really so a little bit of interest a little bit of something and I found just some leftovers which I like now I may be doing um, a coloring with makeup or maybe we color it with just uh, watercolors like school school paints we will see maybe with a tea or coffee I don't know what I'm gonna go for it depends I guess uh, how this will turn out all together and we may use a little bit of uh, white acrylics maybe to kind of help each other's out with it with that project and to keep that all in uh, in the mind of being recycled I try to use as less uh, of pro, pro materials as possible but it may be difficult without some moves to be done like white gesso but I'll try to I'll try to go around that so I'm just building a little bit of texture here a little bit of interest which I already love I have to say which I already love I love this very mm, oh I have also some clothes tags which is fine which is nice to have I love this organic feel to projects like that I love this fact that uh, my print stick is finished and I'm sad I need more print sticks uh, so I'm using this strange glue that Lucas got me ages ago I love the organic look of projects like this I really do um, I think it's just nice to to kind of have this very plain look very simple look very you know nothing no no um, no color really no yeah I like that I like that it's you can do anything I, I guess with it <clears throat> oops <laughs> okay so I'm working with building just some kind of texture here print stick or hot or glue like that may not hold everything so keep in mind you may press it harder I have also those glue dots and I thought that this is such a cool idea to be used and I'm not gonna take off the backing but <laughs> how cool is that I think it's totally cool actually so I am gonna use them away it's a little bit abstractish and I think that's totally fun so I may use them like that nice <laughs> I like that same for here maybe super I love that uh -huh. So try to gather materials that you have that are, you know, things that maybe you don't use anymore, things that are kind of designed to go to the bin. Try to rescue those, try to use them. I have those um, post stamp posts, uh, stamp -o post stamps from my dad, I think, and mom uh, from uh, Easter card from last year because it's like Easterish. So. Yeah, I, but th these are flowery here, so I may use them like that, or, yeah, so I may try to use those and see if this will give us some nice color addition to that, why not, something different. Um, what about this cheesecloth I was thinking, 
we can make that separate that for even smaller am I recording? I am so yeah why not to try this cheesecloth and see if we can actually do something with it <clears throat> I'm sorry for my voice but <laughs> early morning like that my voice is waking up for quite some time I have to say okay I I think I'm happy with this so far not a typical layout though but I think we can try to do something with it I'm not gonna use print stick here or glue but I'm gonna grab my white acrylic and I do some white wash with it and glue that down so I'm gonna add some white acrylics and this one is really cheap acrylic from um, from this discount store can't get rid of that paint from this discount store so I'm hoping to add some paint but also I hope to dilute it a little bit with water if I can get rid of that now with some water so it would be you know pretty much yeah. okay let's see what we can do now uh, I need some clean brush. I'm uh, I'm so busy recording that all my brushes are still dirty. I didn't even wash them yet. <laughs> How bad is that? So I'm I'm hoping to dilute this a little bit. So it's gonna be like a white wash kind of thing. And there we go. So it will hopefully attach this gently. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I was hoping. Not too much, but some kind of touch of white some kind of touch of white you know not crazy but that's exactly what I was hoping for maybe to have maybe there I think so I think that's what I'm gonna do actually gently cover this bit because it's very bright nearly too bright for my liking with those stamps well it depends what color we're gonna go for but I don't think we're gonna go for this kind of but I like the I like the stamp you think here the 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 stamps mm -hmm. okay I think I need a little bit more so I'm gonna squeeze out slightly more oops that's a lot <laughs> we may need that for later so no stress just a plain water and some white acrylics to make some white wash and you see I have ordinary product um, ordinary yeah, products here kind of ordinary things nothing really special about this project uh, so I encourage you to do so similar just grab what you have you know I like that so now acrylic is this kind of uh, product that it's not a primer really so technically it's very hard to co add color on top of it but we will see what are we able to do with it you know we will see if we can actually have some kind of pigmentation happening here on top of that we will see uh, but I think I just wish you to uh, see I hope that this video will kind of prove that you can start off your journaling journey without spending such amount of money and just try and see if you like it if you enjoy a process like that so I think that's the that's the main thing here that I wish to kind of uh, kind of you know explain and show let's try that in the meantime when I was drawing I'm taking off the backing from our sticker stickery thing and I think I'm gonna just add some white on top of that add some acrylic on top of that to make to, to make this not sticky anymore I hope it will help uh, I like that now I wanted this journal to be flat but it doesn't look like it's gonna be totally flat so that's okay maybe it's not meant to be flat uh, so you can see that we have journal that is really um, very much uh, the journal itself it's <laughs> no cost journal really so I hope you will try to make your own because it's it's a fun fun thing to do mm, page is dry pretty much uh, we need a sip of coffee for a good start my coffee has a beautiful color actually matching the color to 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 uh, color our pages <laughs> 
I'm gonna start off with this. These are my real eyeshadows. I really like them. Um, well, I really like the colors of them, but not really on my eyes. They just falling apart. It's a good brand, I think Maybelline. Not too bad, but they just they're just not that good as I wish. So, yeah, I'm gonna start off by uh, playing with my white, well, creamy here, and see what's gonna happen here. And I'm using my finger, of course. I have plenty of eyeshadows, as in we all do. Women do like all kinds of brands. So if if uh, I'm not even, I don't think I'm able to use it ever what I have. So you know what? I I'm happy to just use them on my art journal. <laughs> At least I feel a use for of it. You know. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe we can concentrate on the colors as we see here, which is like a blushy pinky pinky kind of thing so I Think so if you hear some kind of noises those are noises made by my hubby that came to the studio looking for something But no, he's not gonna even say a tiny teeny teensy tiny word unfortunately <laughs> Ah No, forget it. Look how nice this is with we coloring the the little dotties. And so I'm gradually changing towards the darker one. Maybe this one now on the edges or something. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm pretty gentle because you have to remember that uh, we didn't use the most proper tools, <laughs> so I don't want this to fall off right away since we used only the only the mm, school glue so be gentle when you are rubbing it but I love that isn't it that just beautiful now <clears throat> I really think so Hannah is asleep can you believe it she went to sleep like two hours after she woke up I don't know very strange but she's already sleeping like half an hour or so and Lucas said to me why don't you go and record <laughs> I said really Okay, you don't have to ask twice. <laughs> you don't have to say it twice. Off I go. So that's why I'm, I grabbed everything, like just like I was standing with the hot mess on the desk. And here we go, we're making a journal quickly before the baby Inca wakes up. <clears throat> Use every opportunity you have. So, but that was literally Lucas's idea that he goes, Why don't you go and record? <clears throat> so, so yes, sometimes guys have good ideas not often but sometimes <laughs> okay I, as you can see I'm doing darker and brighter and I absolutely love the shading now of that totally <clears throat> totally cool with me totally nice I love that so we have darker and brighter and we have this kind of play here <clears throat> And you see we didn't use that much mm, eyeshadow, so not a stress. <clears throat> okay, I think we're doing a pretty good job here, guys. Aren't we? I think so. Now you'll be asking me how to prime it afterwards to not... I never did prime any of my projects, but if you feel like it, use hairspray. Uh, use fixative that you buy in, in the shop. Uh, but hairspray should work, should do the magic, you know, not too bad. So hairspray, try it. Oh, I love that. I think I can call this pretty much finish. And yeah, I think so. I think we can call this finish and think for uh, some title. Uh, or I was thinking as well to add some, uh, maybe a little bit of uh, shadowing with pencil. Mm, I guess the easiest way uh, would be to do a little bit of doodling, a little bit of some kind of focal point ourselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, try to maybe draw some flower. At least I'll try. Mm hmm Nothing too much fancy. We've done something similar on the project where I was coloring with the tea, 
but I remember that uh, I didn't draw the flowers uh, on the camera and many many of you were asking oh how did you do the flowers how did you do the flowers so sure I can draw that now while you're here with me on the video okay so let's just no actually I'm gonna leave that and try to color it uh, with eyeshadows of course with eyeshadows of course. <laughs> I hope that this will encourage you to try because this is the main thing, the main focus fo focus of this video. You just have to try guys because without taking this uh, broken crayon and without trying nothing is gonna happen. So I really encourage you to, to, to try to see for yourself if this is something that you like, if this is something that you may actually enjoy uh, in the long term before you gather all the supplies from uh, scrap shops, from my shop as well because I have pretty things so feel free to check mariamismallart.com uh, but exactly before you think that oh yeah I, I would like to do that you can try techniques that I'm showing you now nothing fancy, nothing too expensive but just you know just try it just try and see what you like now I have to clean up my hands I don't know if I did correct um, if I shouldn't be uh, making a full um, coloring right now instead of uh, what I'm trying to say is that maybe um, all this drawing should happen before the coloring you know because it may be harder to color but it's okay you know what it's not too bad it's manageable to do it so <laughs> um. of course this is only like a guideline for you how to do things but use your imagination, use your abilities, you can do that, you know, I didn't um, everything that you see, I didn't just learn by, you know, by one pro from one project, I didn't just discover everything um, like this, no, everything was coming to me but one by one, one by one and I was learning day by day by practicing, by changing my my tools, by listening to others, by grabbing a lot of inspirations from others as well. Because uh, many of you are asking me, Marta, where do you get your inspirations? Well, all over, like, all over, literally. You get your inspirations all over. And that's exactly what happened with me. Two seconds, because I think I wish to maybe do a little bit more of some sort of everywhere you you grab your inspiration everywhere guys from from other artists from Pinterest from Instagram from literally everywhere and anywhere you know so from YouTube videos I rarely you uh, watch that though I have to say I always say that that I, I I'm afraid kind of to watch videos because I record my own and I don't want to get too much uh, inspired by someone to not be to not be <clears throat> to not face the plagiarism thing so or copying I don't like when someone is copying my ideas and never mention so I hate to to know that I've used someone's ideas without mentioning that so I just don't watch anyone uh, it's just safer for me you know but anyway look at those flowers such a simple idea uh, just doodle away a little bit I didn't even really think of what I'm doing so you know just 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 try to doodle like I did and don't overthink just keep on trying you know keep on doing <clears throat> the noise that you hear again is my Lucas he is finishing off the sending of your orders actually so I'm recording and Lucas is looking after the finishing orders for this week so he's preparing the pa uh, the sending docket or whichever so he's weighing the packages and all uh, running an online store it's actually a <laughs> lot more work than I ever thought it will be <laughs> and I'm not complaining uh, but it is something that people don't realize including myself <laughs> 
uh, I love it to bits and I wouldn't change it to anything because it's part of my YouTube, it's part of who I am and I love showing and bringing stuff to the shop that I use and that I can share that love for things that I love with you. So, you know, it's super important, but it is a lot of work and I have to say without Lucas it would be impossible and he is helping me um, a lot now. With Hannah around, <laughs> you can only imagine. When she's asleep, you sometimes think, will I record or will I um, do things for the shop or will I make an, a dinner or what? Or will I clean the studio that you barely can see anything now? And it is really bad. You barely can see anything in the studio. So after I record this, I am cleaning. I am cleaning. That's it. <laughs> I need to tidy up the studio and over the weekend I need to tidy up upstairs when are the clothes. We have lots of washing done and nobody had time to actually put it in the in the drawers and stuff. So I th I'm sure that you know the, the feeling. <laughs> we all have moments like that, don't we? Now, I think this could be nice here or something. I don't know. I'm just chancing now. In general I think it's super cute and um, what I love about it is that it is literally really low cost or no cost at all so that's nice I think that's super nice that it's possible to actually really try to be um, creative without spending so much so says that who's running a shop and <laughs> uh, yeah but you know, spending is great if we can all afford it, but not everyone can. And I, I, I can relate to that. I remember when I spent my first around first hundred euro on few supplies that I dreamed to have um, some time ago. And I remember my mother's face that time when she heard it because she couldn't uh, understand. And I tried to explain that, Mom, my art will evaluate. No, if. Ev will change. <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell her. My art will change. Things will change. I need to move forward. I need to change supplies. And she couldn't understand that a little bit at that point. Like, how this will change anything if you're spending so much more. But eventually she understood why and all. But yeah, it's, you know, it's <laughs> it's learning curve. And spending, uh, sometimes it's good because uh, it's just bringing us our us new inspirations and new ways of using supplies and learning and all so it's it's important both are important I think being able to use what you have and being creative within what you have at home and not spending but also it's nice to have a good supplies and I always encourage you use what you have and use your pretty things as well that you spend a lot of money for don't wait for it to get old to be out of fashion to not match anymore your preferences use it if you love it, you bought it, you spend money on it, make a beautiful art with gorgeous stuff that you purchase. Simple as that. Okay, I think I'm loving this a lot, but I lost my white space. I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. Oh, adding water now to the eyeshadow is actually changing that, so I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave that, but I think, st I, I feel that we still need, oh, that could be nice, 3D flower. Only one 3D flower. Oh! Oh. Mm -mm -mm. How is that actually? Maybe, 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 maybe. And if we could add some title there, or no, I think still three because it's too, 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 too quiet here. Oh, something like that in a title. Yes, I love it now. So I'm gonna literally glue it down before I change my mind. Because if I glue it down, I won't change my mind. Well, you can always change your mind, guys. I'm using hot glue gun to make it faster. Uh huh. Same for here. Ooh, hoo -hoo. that's okay. I hope you're crafting with me, guys. It's my biggest um, reward to know that you are crafting while you're watching my videos, and it's awesome. That's why it, the videos are not speed up for you to be able to follow along with me. You know. Uh, that kind of way. I love that so much. Now, title, recycled title. Well, you can write it down, but maybe I'll find something else. Back to you. I, f I found this book uh, that it's really old book of mine, and I have this gorgeous uh, sentiment here. Love is, but 
the discovery of ourselves in others and the delight in the recognition or here the best and the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched and they must be felt with the heart and I love that and I and I found hope which doesn't look good then I found happy which is okay uh, but I think I'll see how is this done so I'm gonna cut it in half the way that both can be still used I think okay actually I think I need this tiny cutter I lost this cutter for like weeks and I found it again and I'm so happy <clears throat> it fell down and I was actually saying that Emily must have uh, lost it but she she was keep on saying mom I didn't and I was like what you mean you didn't like it's gone since you were using it <laughs> and she was like mom I really didn't so I found it and I'm happy <laughs> I found it finally because it's usually on my big cutter there's hot mess and I can't fit anything now it's the idea that we have to get rid of something because you see there we go Oh, that's even nicer. I like that. I think so. I think so. Do we do anything about the color? I think we can. Just use a little bit of shadows, eyeshadows, and just make this a little bit uh, kind of, you know, similar to the rest. Hannah is awake, as you can probably tell. Or we do this, a little bit of pencil, tiny bit of pencil, and it makes a difference. So I'm gonna attach this now with the hot glue. Something just fell with hot glue. Mm -hmm. In here, I think it's nice. And, and here. Okay, I like that. But, 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 guys, but, happy. I, th I think it may still fit nicely. I'll see. Lucas went to Hannah. Emily's in school. We have Easter service today. Oh, I think... I think yeah I think yeah but because this is so fragile I'm gonna use them things or them things actually to make this less fragile oh it's gonna be hard but I'll try like that yeah I think so that will be much better so we need to get rid of that I cannot believe how dirty is my studio after recording few videos in a row in a row in one go no in a row yeah it's madness plus packing the orders for the shop <clears throat> at the same time um, adding new stock to the store <laughs> and heading off soon but by the time you're watching we are back so <laughs> um, but yes recording in advance I like that I really love the <clears throat> recording in advance because <clears throat> I cannot believe that I see like five or six or seven videos uh, ahead on my computer and I'm thinking yes I did it it's very rewarding you know so oh I love that now I think it's completed the happy is making this something else like I like that indeed now I do think that we can still come up with some uh, white splashes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna just add a tiny bit of water tiny bit of water and see if I can actually splash away with this skewer oh <clears throat> perfect Maybe I will need a little bit more pigment. Let's see. Oh, the desk is so monkey. <laughs> oh, that's it. <clears throat> so you see, we really, re really, really, really haven't used much of 
craft tools, as in nothing except glue gun if you count that, and white acrylic. You can be creative at no cost, you can be creative uh, 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 in no time because it was pretty fast and easy. Uh, find your beautiful sentiment. Start cutting out co cola for collages. From start cutting out from magazines. Look, it's beautiful. From books, and learn to drawing. It's it was only fast something fast to show you that you know you can do beautiful things, uh, but just you just have to believe you can. So I'm just trying to get more more pigment in there to make this more visible because it's hard for it to be seen so let me just let me just add more paint <clears throat> white acrylic is good to have in general good investment but if you're thinking of having a go at art journaling white gesso is your your kind of thing to go that's better there we go <clears throat> I really love that. I'm proud and happy that it's possible to make something out of nothing, literally. So grab your tools, grab your grab, grab your whatever, your nothing, <laughs> because you really don't need much. And let's do, grab your eyeshadows basically, and let's do some art together. Okay. I think we can call it done and dusted. Yay! We did it with art John with eyeshadows, coloring with eyeshadows. Why not? I'm sure there are many more colors that you can choose from. Uh, I just have those nudes, kind of pinkish and the dark brownish stuff. So, <sighs> thank you so much for watching. As always, a pleasure to be in your home. I hope it was inspirational, helpful, giving you some encouragement and positive vibes that you just will grab your things and just drop everything and do some art with me thank you so much and i would love if you could share this video with your friends because it's no cost no actually talent needed here isn't it really just a little bit of your imagination willingness of creating something out of nothing and yeah and just a bit of time so i love you loads but i really have to go see you soon bye bye